Science goes where data flows. I think this is uh, an appropriate thing to start with um, because it, uh, what I'm trying to do is provide a motivational speech for how um, we might integrate the project um, through the use of our data management system. And you will hear a whole series of talks following me by really the members of our data management team. So, um, uh, in, uh, so in, in line with the motivational speech, uh, everyone needs, to, uh, needs motivation to get up in the morning and face their data management issues. So I'm, I'm, uh, what I did was I, I, I thought, well, this is a motivational speech. So I went and I found you know, one of the best motivational spe speakers of our time, Dr. Wayne Dyer here. He's got a new book out, Wishes Fulfilled. And we have wishes that we're trying to fulfill here for data management. So in my talk today, you will see that, uh, that I am channeling um, <laughs> Dr. Dwyer. And, uh, and I want you to, to think seriously about your data management. And I hope that this slide makes you remember my talk so that you stay motivated throughout this meeting and throughout the rest of the project. So what are our goals for data management? The REACH proposal actually did not say a whole lot about this. And so in my mind, and I think in maybe the minds of others, there is a bit of a question mark about how you plug in uh, to this whole system. And so if you, um, uh, what I want you to, my wishes will be fulfilled, and I think the, the project leadership will be fulfilled if you think about um, five different questions today and throughout this meeting, um, and, uh, and these are the questions. What data will I contribute to REACH? What data do I need from REACH? So what am I putting into the system? What am I getting back out? And this is really important. How might I visualize data in new ways? And that, what I really mean by that is how might you integrate your data with uh, other data? For instance, we're, we're already working on combining climate change information and data with biotic data in ways that, that um, potentially um, have not been done before. So there's a, uh, a big transdisciplinary component here to visualizing data that will allow us to do new science that hasn't been, in ways that haven't been done before. How might I use the data management system to collaborate with others? And how can I use the system for education and outreach to reach not only students, but also uh, the general public and stakeholders? And so um, how do I plug in? And here's, the, uh, uh, this is, I stole this from Eric. It's a, uh, 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 at, at, at first glance, it's a complicated picture of our data management system. And what I want to do is to emphasize today that it doesn't need to be complicated from your point of view. Um, here you are <laughs> at, in the, at this little green circle up here, and these green arrows are going to show um, how you can plug in and um, get motivated to get your data man management under control. And so it's going to be very simple for you to input data you're going to be able to go to the REACH website, and with the help of the people who are going to follow, um, Eric and Steve and Ed and others, you will be able to easily get your data into the data management system. You will also be able to easily, you can now, easily extract information out of there in various ways. And again, it doesn't need to be cumbersome. If you have questions about how to get data out, these people can help you. And also, um, the, the website is quite, quite usable already. So these are two things. This is, kind of answers your first two questions. How do I get data in? How do I get data out? But let's take this a little bit further. A lot of people um, are, are, are used to using a tool like Excel. And if you think about it, this has been your data management system. You put data into your Excel spreadsheet. You do some calculations. You do some graphing. And in my opinion, some really Excel doesn't do very nice graphs. So um, I, I want you to start thinking beyond your Excel spreadsheet and think about how you might use this system as your management system. And so Excel spreadsheets really do not equal what we are already able to do in terms of visualizing spatial data and temporal data. And we, you will see examples in the speed talks of some really great things that are coming online, some great what we call geographic information systems, GIS layers, where you can already combine climate information and biotics and, and, other, and other forms of data. I want folks to think about how you might use the visualization capabilities of the, um, of the management system for your data. You should be able to easily get it into here, into the system, 
and start to visualize it along with the, the other data that's already there. We're really set up to do that now. This is really great for collaboration. I've, I've made the circle bigger up here to, to kind of emphasize that there, will be, there could be several people working together in a collaborative way, in a transdisciplinary way, using this system. These people collectively could be inputting data, they could be extracting data on their own, but collectively they could be feeding back um, by viewing each other's data in a GIS sense and then coming back, ruminating on it, Dave's word, putting data back in and then visualizing that. So this is a means for collaboration if, you're, if you use the data management system properly. We also can use this um, easily for education and outreach. You can see the two circles here of the stakeholders and the public are, are meeting the, ma the members here and the public is able to, we're able to disseminate information, important information uh, through this website. So I would encourage you throughout this meeting and beyond to think about these five questions. How do I contribute data? How do I get it back? How, do I, how might I visualize it in new ways using the examples that you'll see and how might we collaborate and also use it for education and outreach. Did I make it? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs>